okay so this time let's proceed with the column okay now again applying groups again no so so pakita ko muna yung groups alt s is a shortcut then by group name punta tayo sa column interior then exterior okay that's it how about exterior column yan so select ko muna yung exterior column Okay, so yun yung groups ko for the exterior column. Uh, anyway, by the way, kailangan selected to. No? Okay. Now, uh, gusto natin makuha yung maximum forces din sa column. Okay, so right click, result setup, range, exterior, column. Okay. Then for the loads, again ito, then apply. Then, okay. Therefore, lahat ng forces dito corresponds to these four exterior columns. Okay? Now, let's proceed sa ating ebook. Okay. Go to column. Okay. Getting result. Ayan. And so, ayan. So, ito yung convention ulit for the column. You have the FX. Kasi nga, our longitudinal local axis is x so parallel to that is fx then you have the local y local z therefore may mz ka dito may my ka dyan okay. so sa ebook natin let's say ang nakuha nating my is 245 ayan ayan so yan yung in input ko sa ebook okay design of column in spreadsheet so i input mo yun local my okay then maximum fx natin is nakuha is 948 but again uh, sabi ko nga pag na bibigyan kita ng revise bibigyan ko kayo ng revise spreadsheet or rather ebook dapat meron kang at least 5 cases so ito papakita ko how to do that uh, where's the spreadsheet yeah so, column design forces. Ito dapat yung nakikita mo. Ini-input natin sa spreadsheet. So, this is very important. No? Para ma-realize nyo yung importance ng group. And also, yung forces na kailangan nating makuha sa staad. You have the maximum FX. Siyempre, yan yung maximum actual load. Okay? Na na-experience ni column. The minimum FX, kung sakali mayroong uh, tension, no? but of course, it shouldn't happen in a concrete, no? unless high rise. No? So, minimum FX, ito, 660. Again, this is just for presentation. Gagawin natin to mamaya. Okay. Also, of course, kung meron kang FX, ang column natin is mayroong by axial bending moment. Okay. We have MY also and MZ. Pwedeng mag-fail ang column mo. Okay? Most of the time, mag-fail si column sa maliit na actual load pero malaking moment. ba? Kasi merong mali maliit lang yung tutulak na yung compression tapos merong malaking moment. So, na-twist na lalo, no? Okay. Whereas, ito halos hindi nag-govern itong set of force na to because ang laki ng compression mo, which is dun malakas ang com column, concrete column, pero maliit yung moment. So, most of the time, hindi nag-govern yan. And somewhere um, among these four combinations na yan, dyan madalas nag-govern ang design of column. Okay? So, Okay, assist na to. Okay. Siguro, kopyahin ko to. Then, move or copy. Create copy. Where is that? Column. Yan. I'll copy there. Yan. Para dito tayo mag edit So, I need a maximum FX, minimum FX, maximum FY, minimum FY, MZ, minimum MZ. Five. Okay. Punta tayo sa Yan. Okay. 
So, first for our exterior column, maximum FX. Okay. Copy natin to. Copy. Okay. Right click yon, no? Right click, copy. Then punta ko dito. Where's that? Yeah, no. Column design forces. Mm hmm. Pwede naman tayo dito. Where's that? Paste. Okay. Control C. Maganda kasi ay gawa ka na ng gawa na lang tayo ng insert another sheet. Okay. Yan dito. Okay. Yan. Maximum FX. So again, kulang tayo na. We need minimum FX. Minimum FX. Okay. Then right click, copy. Sheet four. Yeah, minimum FX. Okay. Take note. Ah, ito ay what's up? This is. Fx, Fy, Fz. Fx, Fy, Fz, Mx, My, Mz. Okay. Next is maximum My. So, pwede ko nang lagyan to. Max. My minimum My max Mz minimum Mz. Okay. So actually, pwede mo nang copy in lahat to na shortcut. Okay. Kasi stand and take note na sa summary tayo. Right click, copy, then yeah. Paste ko dyan. That's it. So, you have the summary of all the forces, the summary or the envelope of forces corresponding to exterior column. Right. So, that very powerful yan. No? Then, sabi ko, ang kailangan na natin to, binagyan natin ang dilaw, minimum Fx, maximum My, minimum My, Maximum MZ, minimum MZ. So delete ko to, okay? Delete. Then angat ko to. Control X, Control V. Then of course kela natin FX lang. FY and MZ delete. Then MX delete. Then pagsamahin ko to. Control X, Control V. Set. You will notice that this is my governing. Okay. Dead load, live load, earthquake, talaga. Okay. Then you can just paste. Okay. Control. Sorry. Control C. Or ito na lang. Control C. Control V. Then delete ko to. So yun yung i-input natin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, pwede ko na itong i-delete. Hindi naman ito, hindi naman siya mag-ano. Where is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pero sa spreadsheet natin ng column, which you have now, 5 lang. Pwede mo nang i-delete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32
our column is 450 by 450 so check natin 450 by 450 okay yan yung ano natin so fail pa rin siya no 1.038 so kulang ang 12 na 20 mm okay let's check yung as built nya yeah 12 na 20 mm mm -hmm. then you can try 12 25 25 mm yeah so safe na siya take note no? yung y mo dito well, since square tayo pwedeng mag interchange dun dalawa but take note that your y here should be consistent with your y local y sa taad okay, kasi pag let's say ito, i-3d ko to sorry, ito lang Yeah, no. So this y sa taad kung et, eto ang global natin is z, yun yung z. Eto ang lalabas na local z mo din. Okay? Therefore, this is your local y. Ito, yung papunta dito. Okay? Since this is your glo your global z will be parallel to the local z of this column. Okay. So in our example, walang problem because square tayo. Okay. So that's it, no? You use 450 by 450 12 na 25 mm diameter para mag-save sa set of forces na to.